Hey guys, hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So today in this video, we are going to take the another part of gate aptitude series. And in this video, I'm going to take questions from algebra. Now, this particular topic is pretty simple and pretty straightforward, but still people are a little afraid about questions from algebra. But you have to do this because every year, approximately every year, you get a question from this particular topic. All right. So I'll be taking around five questions in this video. I'll be explaining you how to do them because in algebra there is no particular pattern there are so many types of questions which can be made so that's why i have considered uh, five questions in this video from previous years of gate exam i will also give you at the end of this video some questions so that you can also practice and that's how this video is going to go so in order to solve any question of algebra it's pretty simple you just have to solve for x or solve for y you just have to make sure that plus and minus are being taken properly some tricks and some tips are used in some type of questions that I will tell you in the video itself. Also, like try to practice as much questions as possible from algebra because the more you practice, the better you become. And if in case in the exam, you get a question from algebra, don't leave that question, okay? At least try it once. It's not that difficult, okay? If you just read the question properly and try to approach it, you will be able to answer that question. Many people don't even try. So that you don't have to do, okay? You have to try at least once, right? Now, before going into the video, if you are new to this channel and if you have not subscribed it yet please do consider subscribing it so now without wasting any time let's continue with our video All right, so let's start from this question which was asked in gate 2021 exam it says that if this plus sign and this dot are the two operators on numbers p and q such that p and this plus q is basically p square plus q square upon pq and p dot q is equals to p square upon q then uh, if x plus y is equals to 2 dot 2 then what is x now these type of questions are super super simple okay you don't only have to follow what they have said now if you see Basically, if P and Q and if you are operating this operator in between them, it comes out to be this, okay, P square plus Q square upon PQ. So what this X and Y is going to come up, right? So this is going to be like, and it's given in the question that it is 2 dot 2. So what you can write down in place of this, just like P and Q is giving you this in the same way, X and X and Y is going to give you what? X square plus Y square upon XY as simple as that and on the other side you have 2 and 2 and since like p dot q is giving you p square upon q in the same way 2 dot 2 is going to give you 2 square upon 2 right so it is as simple as that you just have to now solve it further so it will be x square plus y square divided by x y and on the other side you will get 4 upon 2 which eventually comes out to be 2 or when you cross multiply this so this will be x square plus y square is equals to 2xy take this 2xy to this side and it will be x square plus y square minus 2xy is equals to 0 now this becomes a formula or an identity that is x minus y whole square gives you this so that's what you get basically what you can say ki x minus y is equals to 0 or you can say ki x is equals to y so this is how you have just solved for x just using prop like basic algebraic expressions and basic algebraic identities and you got option number b as your correct choice for this all right let's take another question now so this was as simple as that it doesn't even took 10 to 20 seconds to solve this all you have to do is follow whatever is given to you now i will give you at the end of this video some questions related to this but let's take another type of question Okay, now this question was a very good question. It was asked in gate 2018 exam. And here it says that if x square plus x minus 1 is equals to 0, what is the value of x to the power 4 plus 1 upon x to the power 4? Now, it's like, first of all, so just see the thing is given to you for some reason, right? You have to use that to get it in this form. But if you see, you cannot get into this form by using some normal x squaring or multiplying or doing something. Why? Because the power is 4 and here the powers are different. So first thing is that write down whatever is given to you. So x square plus x minus 1 is equals to 0. I can basically uh, take it like x square plus x is equals to 1. This is what I can do. I can take x common from here. So this becomes x uh, 
plus 1 is equals to 1 and now divide by this so it becomes x plus 1 is equals to 1 by x or instead of doing all these things you can do one more thing what is divide this whole this 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 particular equation by x so if you divide it by x so x square becomes 1 uh, x square becomes x x becomes 1 and 1 becomes 1 by x is equals to 0 again if you solve this this will again become x plus 1 is equals to 1 by x so you will get the same thing by doing the same why we are doing it we are doing this so that the powers whatever wherever your x is the power becomes same one is here one is here right we want to make it four so what i have to do now is basically i will take uh, this one this side and this to the other side so it becomes x minus one by x is equals to minus one now the thing is going to start i have to square both the sides so if i square both the sides what i will get on this side i will get a square plus b square yeah, that is x square plus 1 upon x square and minus 2 a b so a is x b is 1 by x and this is going to be minus 1 square is 1 so you will cancel out these things and you will get how much okay so i will do the rest of the part here see do the rest of the part here so i have x square plus 1 by x square is minus 2 is equals to 1 or I will say that x square plus 1 by x square is equals to 3. It will go this side and it will get added. Again, I can square again both the sides. So I can just square both the sides. And this side I will get x to the power 4 plus 1 upon x to the power 4 plus 2 into x square into 1 by x square. Right? a square plus b square plus 2ab. On the other side, I will get 3 square that is 9. I can cancel out these two things. I will get x to the power 4 plus 1 upon x to the power 4 plus 2 is equals to 9. Or I will say x to the power 4 plus 1 upon x to the power 4. That is equals to 9 minus 2 and that is 7. So the answer comes out to be option number C. That's my correct answer. So here it was a little tricky question because here you have to exchange a little bit. But the main motive was to make the powers equivalent and then square and solve it. Remember whenever you have something of this form that a plus 1 upon a and if you square this up you will get uh, this in terms of a square plus 1 by a square and plus some constant will be there. Okay. You will, be, you will not complicate like the things will become easier to solve it. Okay. So keeping this in mind I will give you one more question at the end of this video but let's take another type of question. Okay, so this question was asked in gate 2019. You can see that continuously they are asking questions from algebra, right? So here it says that the sum and the product of two integers are 26 and 165, the difference between the two integers is. So basically what they have said, let's say that the two integers are x and y and that is 26 and their product that is x into y is 165. What they are asking is the difference between the two integers. So x minus y is what they are trying to ask all right so how to do this type of question okay so if you want to go with the normal method the usual method then what you can do is keep x and in the place of y you can write down 26 minus x is equals to 165 how i have done this the value of y will be 26 and i can take x this side so 26 minus x it will if you open the bracket this will be 26 x minus x square is equals to 165 or you can say if you just rearrange this take these two things to this side so it is x square minus 26 x and plus 165 is equals to 0 now you can use the uh, like the quadratic equation to solve this using sd formula and all you can do okay so that is one of the method by solving this uh, like this equation you can get the answer but i will and, and that will give you the value of x and once you found the value of x, y will be how much? That will be 26 minus x and you will get that. The other method is to look upon the equation and like observe it carefully. See, since you are having x plus, you are given with x plus y is equal to 26 and x, minus, x dot y is equal to 165. If you see it's a multiple of 5, that is only possible if 1 among, 1 among x and y is multiple of 5, right? is multiple of 5 anyone either x is multiple of 5 or y is multiple of 5 doesn't matter but there is some number which is multiple of 5 okay 
now tell me what can be two integers whose sum and like who are multiple of 5 and it should not be 0 right multiple of 5 and not 0 okay that means either that number is either you have two options either that number is either one of the number okay either one of the number is 5 or 15 these are the only two possibility why because uh, you cannot take and 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 one more thing is there that is uh, 25 okay or 25 these are the three possible integers which we have so if it is 5 right and you know ki uh, their sum should be 26 so if this is 5 the other number has to be 21 okay other number will be 21 in this case if it is 15 the other number is 11 and if it is 25 the other number is 1 now you have to see that when you if you multiply you get 165 uh, like if you multiply 21 with 5 how much you will get there so if you do that basically you are going to get uh, 105 right so this is not the correct match right if you multiply this here you will get 165 which is your required number and here you will get 25 so again this is not a correct match so what are those number you simply calculate you simply got them so either x is equals to 15 and y is equals to 11 so their difference is 15 minus 11 and that will be 4 so just by observing you have got the answer and the correct answer is option number c and this is how it will be done so two ways i have given you the general way of doing it and the shortcut or the observation way you can say right so algebra is like this only you can think of the thing and how much attentive you are while solving the question is going to decide that whether you are going to do it correctly or not okay let's take another question then okay this was a very good question it was asked in gate 2016 exam it says that if p q r is not equal to 0 and p to the power minus x is equal to 1 by q q to the power minus y is equal to 1 by r and r to the power minus z is 1 by p then what is the value of product x y z okay so let's try to do this these type of questions whenever they are asked you have to use logarithmics logarithms to solve this or log to solve this okay so first of all we are given with p to the power minus x is equals to 1 by q right so what i can say see you should know this thing that if x is to the power minus a is equals to uh, is equals to p let's say then x to the power a is 1 by p means basically this thing will get reciprocal if i change the sign of the power so if i make it p to the power x this will become q similarly i have q to the power minus y is equals to 1 by r so q to the power y will be r and similarly r to the power minus z is 1 by p so r to the power z is equal to p so i got the values in the power which are not minus sign so this is the first thing which i have to do now i have to take log both sides so it will become log p to the power x is equals to log y no sorry log q then log q to the power y is equals to log r and log r to the power z is log p so you know that if x if log a to the power b is there then b can be taken up uh, in front so it will become x log p is equals to log q y log q is equals to log r z log r is equals to log p right now from here you can find out the value of uh, x y and z because you want, want to find out product of x y z right so i'll do here basically the value of x will be how much log q log q divided by log p right you can take this side similarly y will be equal to log r upon log q and similarly z is equals to log p by log r now the product x dot y dot z will be the product of these things so log q upon log p multiplied by log r upon log q multiplied by log p upon log r see log r log r got cancelled log p log p got cancelled log q log q got cancelled everything got cancelled so what will be the answer so x y product of them will be one that's how you got answer number option as simple as that so it looked very scary but it became very easy once you took logarithm to solve this all right let's see one more question 
again this was again a very simple and straightforward question again you have to take the help of squaring and all okay so it says p and q are positive integer p by q plus q by p is equals to 3 then the value of p square upon q square plus q square upon p square is how much so see we are given with p by q plus q by p is equals to 3 how to solve this squaring both side right so let's square this why i'm squaring because i need this squared values so this will become p square by q square plus q square by p square this is like a square plus b square plus 2ab so 2 times of p by q into q by p and on the other side i will get 3k square that is 9 so simply this uh, this q and q will cancel out p and p will cancel out we will only get 2 so p square by q square plus q square by p square this will be equal to 9 minus 2 that will give me 7 so the correct answer is option number b so it looks difficult when you look upon the question but they are pretty simple and pretty straightforward questions when you solve them now i will give you some questions as homework so that you can also try and you can also you know get into these algebraic kind of questions so let's get into it all right so this is going to be your first homework question it is simple to what we have done similar to what we have done it says if q to the power of minus a is equals to 1 by r and r to the power minus b is equals to 1 by s and s to the power minus c is equals to 1 by q then find the value of a into b into c okay we have done similar question do it and tell me what is the answer we have just did it try to do it of your own okay and see what answer you have got the next homework question is this is homework question number two it says that if x minus 1 by 2 whole square minus x minus 3 by 2 whole square is x plus 2 find the value of x what you have to do you have to solve this a minus b whole square and a minus b whole square open the bracket cancel out the things which can be cancelled out and that's how you will get that is one of the way of doing it another way is shortcut trick you can apply a square minus b square formula that is a plus b into a minus b any method you can apply and you will get the correct answer okay so i want your answers in the comment section below try to do it and this is your homework question number three now here is something based upon operator so you have three operators one is this square operator other one is this diamond operator and the other one is this arrow operator okay so it says that if you are applying this square operator on a and b you are getting a into b a minus b upon a plus b if you are applying this diamond operator between a and b you are getting a plus b upon a minus b right and if you are applying this arrow operator in that case you are getting a into b so what is the value of this when you are applying 66 and 6 with this square operator and then this is your arrow operator and then this is your diamond operator so nothing you have to do just whatever thing is there you have to solve this with a ki jagah pe you have to write down 66 and in the place of b you have to write down 6 solve this part similarly for this also solve this part and this arrow means multiplication so whatever you get from this bracket multiply it whatever you get from this bracket right so this is how you are going to solve it i hope you all will be able to do and i'm giving these questions as homework believing that you all will try of your own and that's all for this video thank you so much for watching in the next video i'll be bringing up next concept of kate aptitude so stay tuned for that subscribe the channel that's it from my side thank you so much for watching see you in the next one Till then, have a great day. Bye-bye. Take care. Hey, guys. So, I teach live on Unacademy Plus platform. Here, I teach for the CSI or UGC net category. And you can follow me over here for regular classes. You can access my free classes as well as my paid classes on this particular platform. The classes which are free, you can get that under the section of special classes. Whereas, in order to access my paid classes, paid live classes we have to take an academy plus subscription so do make sure that you take the an academy plus subscription to access all my paid classes which are quite organized the whole syllabus is being completed over there and the classes are quite regular over there so make sure that you take an academy plus subscription by using my referral code that is n underscore huda that's it for this thank you so much